Oh yes, what a way to start the day! Over 200,000 views! That is awesome! Thank you for watching! Only downside is, YouTube's decided to cull another god knows how many subscribers. Oh well, I'm at least over 200,000 views. For now. How the devil are you? Well, I am just currently waiting for my iMac to arrive working from home, which is not something I've ever done before, so it's quite unusual really, but um, I'm just basically sat in front of the computer answering all my emails and doing what I would normally do at work, but without listening to the music. So that's what I'm doing today, and like I said, waiting for the iMac. As soon as it arrives, I'll let you know, but right now, it's still not here. Is this what I think it is? Is my precious. Oh wow, oh wow, and oh wow again, here it is. It's my iMac, and it's in a really cool box. And I've still not even opened it yet, I need to get inside, I've got to get inside. So I'm inside my box, and what I'm going to try and do is do a little bit of an unboxing, but just do it like in bits, because I've no idea how this is going to come out of the box. So, I've opened it up, and there's this thing here, I've no idea what this is, and oh, it says uh, designed by Apple in California. Let's have a slip open and, and see what this could be. I've got a feeling it might be the keyboard, but I don't know. Uh, and I was right, it, it is the keyboard and it's the mouse as well. Cool, awesome. And what's in here? What's in there? Well, that's an instruction book, and there's my mouse. So, oh, get out. There we go, so I'll get my mouse out. Looking very smart. There we go. There's, there's my mouse. There's my keyboard. Um, and hopefully it's got some batteries in it or something like that. So we'll sort that out in a second. I don't think there's anything else in here. So let's have a look what's actually in the box now, shall we? So we'll take this. Oh, actually, it opens from the top. So I'm just going to lay it down. Back. So I've laid it down and I can pull it open now. Ah, oh, here we go. So we have a lot of polystyrene. I'm not sure. No, you see, I don't think it was meant to be laid down. But I'm gonna, I've laid it down anyway, so let's stand it up. I'm gonna have to put you down again and stand it up. Okay, so it's stood up again now, so let's have a look. So I'm guessing, uh, there we go, so there's one bit. There's another bit, up oh, with the power cable in, I'm guessing. Is this the power cable? I think so. I hope so, otherwise I can't turn it on. There we go, so that's the power cable. So those two bits can go to one side. So how do I get this top bit off? Does it just pull off? Hopefully it does. So, uh, right, okay, back in a second. Right, that was quite a tight fit, but it's off now. So we've got this covering on here. Let's have a look where it's attached at the back. It's stuck down with an apple label. So I'll just uh, peel that open and unstick it down there, and then we pull it around the front, and pull that there like that, and slowly but surely off it will come, hopefully. There we go, it's coming, and ta-da! <laughs> oh, this is just too much. Okay, so now we've got this sticky covering on the front, um, which I'm going to peel off and it's quite tight, so I'm going to take that off now. Okay, so first disappointment, not entirely impressed with the way that they stick this on. I've got to kind of go around now and, and get all these little bits of extra sticker off, off the computer because I think it was maybe stored in the van overnight or something like that and it's just got really cold. As you can probably see, look at how iced up, well not iced, but frosty this actually is. The computer it's so cold. I'm not actually that convinced I can turn it on straight away because it is so cold. I don't really want to screw it up. I'm wondering if there's any condensation inside it or anything like that. So it's, that's kind of annoying, to be honest. Um, if you're ordering one and it's getting delivered to you, just make sure that it's not stored in the van overnight or something. I don't know, but this is really, really cold. Really cold. Um, and like I said, I don't want to cause any problems inside it. So I'm not going to turn it on straight away. I'm going to let it get to room temperature 
and then I'll, I'll turn it on and, and, and see what happens. And we have power, and it's slowly turning itself on. I have no idea what an Apple Mac does when it turns itself on. It just played a little bing at me, and that's about as good as it's got so far. So um, we will just stand here for as long as it takes. Unless I guess exceptionally boring. Go on, in your own time. No, still nothing. Oh, 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 it's gone dark. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Oh, 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 yeah, go on then, do something, anything. Ah, there we go. So it's saying, is my mouse turned on? It is. Is my keyboard turned on? It is. So there we go. Mouse and keyboard are turned on. Oh, right, okay, so uh, use English as my main language. Do I want to do that? Uh, using the soft. Use English for the main language. Press the return key. Uh, return. Done. Is, is, is it connected? Is that the return key? I think it is. You're not doing anything. Okay, maybe... Oh, there we go. Ah, now it's connected because the green dot... Perfect. Um, I can set up my Mac, so... I'm in the United Kingdom, so we'll do that. And uh, is my mouth mouse on yet? Go on. Is this still not working? OS 10 includes a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. That's if nice. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you'd like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac. Press the escape key. Right, okay, I'm gonna go for a second. I'm just gonna do this and um, yes, okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so what have I learned so far? Well, you can't use an Apple mouse on a glass um, desk at all. So if you're gonna buy yourself an iMac, um, well, you're gonna need a mouse mat, because um, if you've got a glass desk, that is, because at the moment, if I put that on there, there's my cursor, it, it just doesn't move at all. I'm having to do it on my leg, so that I can move around the screen. So if you've got a glass desk, just because you wanted it to look nice, it, the mouse doesn't work on a glass desk. So you need to get yourself a, a mouse mat or something like that so that it can actually move around the screen. So that's kind of a purchase I'm going to have to make today. But you learn these things as you go along. Uh, right now I'm at the terms and conditions. I've uh, gone through a thing that teaches me uh, how the voice command stuff works and things like that. I kind of wait to find out how I can actually turn it off because uh, it's annoying me. Um, but right now I'm going through terms and conditions and all that kind of stuff, which is boring. So I'll wait until I get to the exciting stuff. And ladies and gentlemen, I am on my iMac. Application dock item. Oh. Open this application. Press control. Option. Space. Okay, that's nice. What if I... Note, app update. App update available. Okay, let's update an app. Menu bar. Back. HTML content. And I need to, I need to find a way of turning this 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 voice off be from the app store. before it kills me. Stop it! The bundled app Shh. Stop. Stop. Garage band will be assigned to your Apple. Shh. A unique hardware identifier Shh. from your computer must be sent to Apple to verify eligibility. Right, back in a bit. Desk. Shh! Don't tell him I'm videoing. <laughs> I can see what you're doing. <laughs> oh no! I forgot there's a screen. <laughs> ah, rubbish. <laughs> Well, there you go. Um, the, the playing has begun, and I'm going to have to go to work now because I've I've done my bits and I've got my my delivery. Uh, I am just going to check that this plays and works. Oh, oh, it does. Excellent. Final Cut Pro. I'll be having to play with that later on. Uh, right now, I've got to go to work and then training tonight for pole vault. I just want to come home and play with my iMac, but I've got to go train. And I've just, I can't let it just ruin my life just because it's just arrived and it's a brand new toy and it's brilliant. Right, I'm going to go. Well, this is fun. It's almost like being in a Millennium Falcon in the rain and the snow. It's uh, definitely very damp power at the moment. Uh, driving on my way down to Polvall this evening. Got to go do the training session uh, before I go home and play on the iMac. And um, this morning when I woke up, I didn't mention about this actually because I just thought, oh, it, it's just a smell. But I woke up this morning and my flat smelled a bit of gas. 
uh, a little bit like a bit mini gas leak, but it, it wasn't. It, it wasn't that strong. And when I went outside, the smell was outside as well. So I just assumed it had been emanating from inside. And I've just been listening to the radio just now and found out that the smell that I was smelling was France. So there you go. Um, apparently there's a factory in France that um, is, is making this smell, which is, is lovely. And uh, it made my flat smell like I had a gas leak. So if you live anywhere near me and you woke up this morning and you thought, have I got a gas leak or oh, has somebody left a rotten egg out? It was France. So there you go. France stinks. Not literally, but yeah, the, the smell came from France. So Katus 3R says, uh, impressive hairstyling there. I think you missed your vocation. So everybody likes Susanna's hair bun. Um, Marilyn Darling says, I like the Vagabond Circus too. They are really good. Oh, he's really good. Um, Merodio Girl says, oh, now all you need to do is learn manis and pedis. What's a mani and a pedi? Oh, is that a manicure and a pedicure? I don't know. Apparently, maybe it is. Um, let's have a look. One more. Um, minipigs.com says ha 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 that made me laugh get off get off something I would say or maybe even shout probably shout I would probably shout uh, right it is time for bed so I'm going to say good night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite sweet dreams and see you tomorrow morning fairly early but maybe not going to the gym it's a bit snowy outside and when I say a bit it, it snowed quite a lot tonight so <laughs> I might not be going anywhere so I'll see you tomorrow morning anyway have a good one bye Watch and stop jabbing on. So thumb was the shut up. He's lugging here. Stop jabbing on.